Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I don't know if you will believe it or not, that was shortwave on this little radio. <laughs> this is this is emergency radio, and they threw in a shortwave band, kind of as a afterthought, I think. But anyway, this is, believe it or not, what the manual says, it's the P.P. Lee Radio, the CR1009 Emergency Radio. It's AM, FM, shortwave, NOAA weather. It has a solar crank, it has, no, excuse me. It, it says solar crank, and I said it. It has solar charging and crank charging. That's what I was trying to say. And I got it when it was on sale a couple of days ago for $30. The price varies a lot, comes in different colors and from different sellers, and the prices vary from $29 to $35. This particular one, uh, I'm looking at Amazon right now, and it's now $36. I paid $31. Comes with a carabiner to hook onto the strap. Comes with a charging cable right here. And it's powered by at least two sources. One is a 18650 battery, the big 3.75 volt battery. And let me show you down here. So this is the compartment for that. It comes with that battery. Yeah, you got to use a screwdriver to get to the battery. They had a little tab. They get this in, uh, covering up the connector, and you just pull the tab out, and then it was connected. You didn't have to go into it. So that's kind of a built-in, not built-in battery. On the back, it has room for... Oops, I hit the volume button. It has room for... Three AAA batteries. So it's, there's two sources right there. Now the the big battery down here can be charged either externally using this cable with the crank or with a tiny solar panel that I tried to see if I could see if it would charge under a spotlight, it wouldn't, or di the charge light did not come on. I put it in the window and the charge light came on. It would probably take forever to do a charge with that little tiny solar panel. And right down here is an indication, the middle one is that it's getting charged. This is the battery condition and this is an indicator which doesn't show up too well. It's, it's a green indicator that shows that the radio is on. In the front here, try to keep the glare down. It's got AM, FM, and shortwave band. The shortwave band is only 7 megahertz to 19. That's what I call a short, short band. <laughs> short, short wave band. Um, volume on, off. Tuning. It's kind of sketchy, and I'll be showing you that. This is the power selection, either the built-in lithium-ion battery, built-in because it's behind this door, or the AAA batteries. Yeah, I was trying to make sure it was AAA. Um, here is the weather band selection. Seven weather channels. And... What's unusual is you select one of these until you hear something, and then you still use the fine-tuning, or the tuning, to fine-tune it. Over here is the band selection, shortwave, AM, FM, and weather band. It does have the weather band alert option that when they send out an alert on that weather band channel, it will beep. It's got a lot of functions. A lot of functions. 
I don't know if they're great, but it's got a lot of function. It has a nice bright light there, LED light, which you turn on back here. There. I don't want to flash. Ooh, it is bright. Really bright. Turn it off. It, whoops. Turn it off. Oh, does this flash? Oh, no, it's got two settings, and I had it on the brightest setting. Um, up here, believe it or not, <laughs> it has what they call a reading light, I believe. And it's six LEDs, and that's a different button. Turn that on. Whoa, it, and that is bright. Oh, gosh, I hurt my two settings. So that's really bright. So if nothing else, since it's an emergency radio and flashlight and lamp, um, those functions work very well. Other functions, not so good. Over here we have, it has a siren in case you're uh, under a bunch of rubble and you hear people trying to dig you out, you can push that and, then, and I'm not going to do it. It's pretty loud. And then under here, get my fingernail down there, is the connections. The top one there, come on camera, is for charging. The middle one is your earbuds, headphones. And this one is a USB output for charging like your phone. And you can use, I believe, all of the power options to charge your phone. Use the crank, use the solar. That ain't going to work if the battery's dead. Use this battery. And I think we will, we will, hello, I think it will even let you use the double A batteries, a triple A batteries for charge. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, I think I've showed you all sides. This is a quote solar panel for charging that lithium ion battery. So it's got five ways of powering this thing and or external devices. It's got a cloth carrying strap with, check this out, a compass that actually works. Pretty cool. And then this uh, carrying strap can be adjusted so you can, that's the full length right now. Not very long. Probably just enough to get it over your shoulder. The antenna for FM, shortwave, and uh, weather band is really short. And I was, when I first started this video, I was cheating because I was using one of those real, R-E-E-L, wire antennas clipped onto this thing. I just, a few minutes ago, unclipped it so I could move the radio around. But without that, it's struggling. Let me turn the, uh, I may have... Lost the station. Let me turn it up. It's there. Very weak. Now let me clip my antenna back on. Still pretty weak. Better. There you go. Now it's coming in. It's fading in and out. So that's what I was trying to illustrate before. If you got one of these little radios that's got a tiny antenna like this one, this one actually does swivel. So that's nice. But it's really short. I don't know why it's so short. It's like 12 inches. If you got an antenna like that, you really need to use one of these clip on real antennas at least. And I've just got this particular one just going back and forth uh, along the ceiling of this room. This room has a lot of RF generators in it. Um, the tuning on this is, to say it lightly, horrible. <laughs> it really takes a steady hand because it's really granular. And it also appears to be DSP. And I'm going to show you what I mean here. So let's turn the volume back up. Okay, that's about 10, 9 point something megahertz. 
Okay, here we go. You can hear it cutting out, muting while tuning. And I'm just barely turning this. So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to try to find anything else. I was surprised I got anything. It's, um, what time is it? Oh, 8 o'clock in the morning here in Colorado. For like, the other thing that you probably noticed, if you look real closely, the dial indicator right there is crooked. And if I go across the dial to the end and go push it all the way to the end, it straightens up. But as you go across, it will start leaning. Don't know if it's show up, showing up on my camera. And then every once, once in a while it sticks. Now maybe after time, it'll st stop doing it. It's not as bad as it was when I first got it. And not a big deal because this this dial is so crude, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I had it set at 10, right on 10. And I know I was receiving a station that was like 9 point something megahertz. So it was way off. Not a big deal. I think that's about it. Does I need, need to say anything else about it? It's It's got a lot of features. It doesn't have an MP3 player. But it has, you know, well, let me try no weather. And I'm not going to try AM and FM. It, it doesn't take much of radio in this area to get AM and FM stations. So I'm not even going to try that. Let's go to weather, which is all the way down to the bottom. Or turn the volume up. Increasing to around there you go. In the and inland waters are and Friday I'm on south winds around 10 knots. And inland waters three. I'm on three. Weather Channel 3. I'm going to unclip that external antenna. Your coastal waters forecast it's still strong. Let me try to see if I can get any other ones. Two. There's something there, but I think it's Channel 3. Because I think... Oh, I must have dreamed it. I could have swore. Let me go back to three. He's four to six feet. Bay and inland waters choppy. No. Wednesday, I could, northwest wind. I could have swore yesterday when I tried this weather band and I used the tuning knob, it brought it in and I lost it based on where I put the tuning knob. And today's not doing that. Okay, one, we have nothing. Two, nothing. Again, now I'm using the 12 inch antenna. Three, two feet. Bay and inland waters alike. Four, five, six, seven. So I got one channel. I normally can get on most radios, even little ones like this, I can get three channels. One very strong like the one I'm getting and then two other weak ones. There, I'm getting the... See, it's almost like that's going to... It's almost like a switch problem because now in... Several times before, when I went to two, I got nothing. Then a couple of times when I went to two, I got something that really sounded like it was still on three. If that's not confusing, I don't know what is. So you got two, nothing. No, I mean, I screw it. That's one, two, three. So it's working. It's working. Um... Not a bad radio. It comes in various colors, as I said before, and the price varies depending on what color. Right now, uh, you can get the yellow one for $30. This one, right now, from the vendor I bought it from off of Amazon, is $36. <laughs> it's $36, and tomorrow it'll be $30 again. So, 
you just have to watch that. Like I say, it's not a bad radio. Um, shortwave band, yeah, I kind of forget about that. That was just kind of thrown in to draw a few people in. The audio is not too bad. Um, I will, if requested, I will do my crank test where I run that 18650 battery down till the radio won't play anymore. And then I do my five minutes of cranking and see how long the radio will play, if it will play. I can do that. The solar charging, I could do that. I'll probably have to charge it in bright sunlight for a full day. So I don't know if that's going to be effective. The, the two lights are fantastic. I mean, if you only got this for the flashlight capability and the charging your cell phone or whatever capability. Oops, I just hit that button. Um, it would be worth that. I don't know. Oh, the They advertise the 18650 as a 2,000 milliamp hour battery. 2,000. That's a lot better than 1,200. Now, the quality of that battery, I don't know. It comes from China. I, I would give it a C plus. Especially if you can get it for under thirty dollars. They have had it like right now they got the yellow one, that's the only difference is the color, for twenty nine ninety nine. And I I think I'll put this in my Amazon store. I think it has some good features. And I'm gonna do just for the heck of it real quick. AM band. Real quick. Yeah. It's getting a lot of AM. Let's go to FM real quick. I become winded just going from Whoa. the sidewalk up to your, I mean, that's about three football fields. Right. So, right. I kind of like my... Yeah. Yeah. 